I woke up from the from the operation and I got these big boobs and the, the vagina and the whole thing, tubes hanging out here and there, and it's like, wow, what have I done? I despised my own body and I felt trapped. I remembered back to when I was nine and I made that decision that as soon as I had enough money and I was old enough, I would change my name to David, get a sex change and live happily ever after. If you want a transsexual or somebody with breasts or you want to get freaky, you go to that place. I went ahead uh, and had the gender reassignment surgery. I was promptly terminated from the corporation. I didn't even get to go back on property. They cleaned my desk out, handed it to me, and said goodbye. They go through the surgery. They go through the, 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 the torturous medical procedure of contorting their body to conform to their psychological distortion. I took the hormones. Um, of course, right away, uh, I started filling out muscularly because my goal was not to ever be known as a woman. My goal was to only be known as a man. I was saying to God, I know the way you made me. I'm not going to accept that. I'm going to remake myself in the image I have in my mind. I was saying I, I was God. I was being equal with God here. You'll never be a woman. You can say you are, you can think you are, but you can't be because God made you a man. I went to this pastor's conference in full drag, makeup and everything, and it was last night I remember that I gave my life to Christ. I'm going to get this operation done, call me Stephen. And you know, my pastor just took me to the side and he said, we don't agree with what you're doing, but we love you and we want you to know that you're welcome here. There is hope, and, and that hope for the transgender person is the same as it is for any other human being. That hope is that sin and its consequences have been decisively overcome by Jesus Christ. Anybody that seeks to keep their life for themselves will lose their life, but any man who would willingly lay down his life for my sake will find true life. God doesn't just sweep life away. Instead, he devises ways to bring us back to him when we've gone astray. That's love. That is love. <laughs>